Welcome back to Innocence Tarot. We're going to do another Divine Masculine update. Once I finish shuffling, I will turn down the music. Let's get into this energy. Everybody, top of the morning, top of the morning to each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for sitting up here supporting the channel, okay, and showing up for me yet another day, okay. I hope everybody is feeling good, feeling amazing, just grateful to be alive yet another day. Make sure you give gratitude to God and thank Him as always, okay, because if it ain't for God we would not be here okay make sure that you let god know that you appreciate him giving you breath in each and every day okay but yes 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 we're not gonna hold it up all i ask you guys to do is push that like button and subscribe it don't take you nothing but a minute to boop, boop, okay and if you see any kind of, you know, near sparring, it's because I got this touched up and um, I had got chosen. So if you see it kind of like oily, you know exactly what it is, okay? You know exactly what it is. So, yeah. Let's do this. Where's my water? Where's my water? What do I do with my water, y'all? Hold on. Where is my water? I see it okay we got this big ass water okay but they was on sale so i got them well y'all know that my water is dijani but we got us some aquafina tonight this morning okay <laughs> 
So yeah, let's get straight into it, okay? Your masculine, he's ready to come in, okay? And he's ready to chase you. He is ready to chase you. And your masculine wants your forgiveness. Also, we are using the decks, the Martin Love Oracle deck, and we're using the Spiritual Journey to Ascension deck, okay? But, um, yeah, let's get back to it. Your masculine, he wants to come in and chase you. Really wants your forgiveness, okay? This masculine is really feeling as though he sat up here and made a mistake. Your masculine feels really, really lonely, okay? Even though he's over there with the karmic, his soul feels lonely without you. This masculine really wants to sit up here and apologize because he know he crossed the line, okay? About how he manipulated the situation and played you, okay? This masculine know that he act like a straight fuck boy when it came to how he handled you. He mishandled you, okay? And want to apologize. Manipulating your love against you. Acting like a fuck boy. Being out here for the streets, okay? When this masculine knew all along that he was, um, he was not monogamous, okay? This masculine was used to sitting up here winking and blinking and dealing with other women, okay? He was used to being a fuck boy. And this masculine sat up here and hurt you, used your love against you, and just showed his ass for no motherfucking reason with his fucking manipulation. After your masculine love bombed you, after his ass cheated on you, you seen your masculine is having bad intentions. Your masculine made you feel as though you was used, played okay mishandled when you when he didn't have to do that okay yeah after finding out how your masculine really got down how he sat up here was a fuck boy how he was in other relationship you felt used okay and felt some fucking type of way about it when god exposed this masculine and how he get down okay you felt some type of way you felt as though your masculine had nothing but bad intentions for you okay and then to find out that he was out here cheating in a whole another relationship with multiple other women you didn't want to deal with the bullshit no more okay after he ghosted you this masculine is thinking about it he thinking about it. He can't escape his thoughts. And he just can't stop thinking about how he really fucked over you. Okay? That shit play over and over and over and over again. Okay? He hurt, shattered with guilt. His conscience is bothering him on how he went out his way to show his ass. Okay? This masculine, he want to come and chase you. It's been some time now since all that has happened. And this masculine really in his feelings. Really want to sit up here and come and apologize. And he really want to find a way how he can come and chase you. Even though he know that you sit up here and feel as though he's coming in with bad intention. This masculine want to come towards you. But he know that he showed his ass. He want to chase you. He been wanting to chase you. He been wanting to make things right. But this masculine knows if he comes towards you, you're going to see his ass as bad intentions. You don't trust him. You feel as though he's coming back for the wrong fucking reasons. And after he showed his ass and did the most, you just don't trust this masculine. If he was to come back today, you will feel very... You will feel very... Um, skeptical okay about why he coming back okay you will feel as though what's different now why all of a sudden the change why does he want to come chase you why does he want to come towards you you just don't trust okay what he's really coming in for but this masculine said that he just feels bad he feels bad he in his feelings and he feels as though he owes you an apology because he knows the way he went about shit was unfucking called for. Realizing that the bitch that he sat up here and chose over you was one of the biggest fucking mistakes that he could have ever did. He didn't he thought he was manipulating you, but he was really manipulating himself 
when he decides to sit up here and love bomb you and walk away from you. This masculine been lonely, been lonely without you ever since he sat up here and pulled away. This masculine really, really think about sitting up here reaching out to you each and every day. But this masculine, no, you don't trust nothing that about his ass, okay? You don't trust him, okay? He feel as though if he was to reach out to you, try to communicate with you, you would ignore the text message. You would ignore him. You would want him to stay away from you. You see your masculine as an op. You see your masculine as coming in with bullshit. And you don't trust him, okay? When the trust is gone with you, Divine Feminine, okay? It ain't no joke, okay? When a woman's fed up, okay, it ain't no joke. You got a cold cutoff game. And for your masculine to reach out to you after all this time, you don't trust it. You feel as though your masculine is shady as fuck, okay? And you know about him and that ugly ass fucking bitch that he deal with. Okay, she might be a pretty person on the outside, but she real ugly in the inside, okay? This masculine and this karmic, they did a lot of talking, a lot of gossiping, a lot of slandering. I mean, anything that they thought that they could lie and talk about, they did, okay? And then they had their audacity to push these fucking lies and gossip and rumors and shit, okay? You don't trust your masculine. You see his ass as slick as a motherfucker, a sly-ass motherfucking fox that can't be fucking trusted, okay you see the truth okay and if the masculine didn't if he didn't contribute into gossiping he let this karmic sit up here and gossip and do a lot of shady ass shit but i feel as though they both was sitting up here gossiping coming up against you at one time okay and he sat back and let this karmic sit up here and spin a narrative kick up some unnecessary ass dust with fucking lies and didn't say shit even though he knew his inner voice was supposed to speak up and stop whatever this shady ass gossip that this karmic was doing this masculine's under judgment because he didn't speak up because god told him to speak up and stop this shit and he didn't this masculine continued to let the gossip go on and on and on and on and did not speak up and sit up here and shut that shit down as a man as he was supposed to okay this masculine wasn't supposed to be playing no fucking female games he wasn't supposed to sit back and see wrong doing happen to his counterpart and not sit up here and check a bitch okay about a lie okay he didn't open his mouth and say shit when this shit was going on okay this masculine he's feeling bad okay about the mistake that he made on not sitting up here opening his mouth not speaking up not standing up for you when he knew that he should okay this masculine just sat back and let the manipulation go on and he was a part of it this masculine's feeling bad about the part that he played, okay? That he want, he owe you an apology. He feels bad about sitting back, letting this fucking karmic gossip, okay, about you. He feel bad about the gossip and lies that he participated in as well, wishing that he could change what he did, feeling regret, knowing that you didn't deserve that, and then realizing that he really fucking love you want to chase you but know his ass did so fucking much okay to come up against you with this fucking ass karmic okay this masculine said that he feels as though this karmic manipulated him in some type of situation but he said neither there he know that he was wrong for the part that he played and he know that his ass was shady as fuck Okay, for not sitting up here speaking up on your fucking behalf, okay? This is why you ain't got two words in Chinese to say to this masculine. This is why you just want him just to leave you alone, okay? Yes, you've been uh, elevating, okay? You free, Divine Femme. You don't sit up here and feel like sitting up here trying with your masculine want to talk to him after you knowing okay everything that this masculine and this karmic did against you 
Why would you have anything to say to a person that took you to the max like that? Okay. Why would you have anything to say to a person that went out their way to try to hurt you with vicious fucking lies? Why would you? Okay. No, you choose to sit up here and keep your fucking distance. That's what you're doing. Okay. Because your masculine had a choice. And he's got told him to sit up here and open his mouth. And he decided to be a fuck boy. He decided to sit up here and be shady and sit back and allow shit and allow people to sit up here and lie, speak on your name and all type of shit and didn't do anything, okay? But neither here, neither there, okay? At least he is sitting up here feeling some remorse, okay? For what he did what he allowed okay and what he know he feels bad about it and he feels as though he was manipulated this masculine wants to reach out to you and he want to tell you how these lies got started he want to sit up here and know what you up to he trying to find a way to reach out to ask you okay what you're doing and everything but he know if he reach out to you and send you a direct message you're going to sit up here and see his ass is coming back with bad intentions, okay? This is why he hasn't reached out to you because he know he, he really can't, okay? This mask took a lot of time to even think about even thinking about sitting up here coming back towards you, okay? See, the mask, when he was around a lot of people that was manipulating him, he liked to be a people pleaser. He liked to be seen. He liked to be up in the fucking mix, okay? When God has been telling this masculine, okay, that he needs to sit up here and break free. God been telling this masculine that he needs to let go of these people, okay, and keep his, um, what does that? Keep your circle small, okay? God been trying to tell this masculine that he had a lot of shady ass motherfucking people in his camp, okay? A lot of people didn't mean this masculine no good. Women, family, friends, associates, co-workers, okay? A lot of people around this masculine was up to no good, manipulating him, keeping him in unnecessary bullshit, and he was supposed to bend, let these shady motherfuckers go, okay? But he wouldn't, okay? But now God is stepping in. God is shutting shit down. God is tearing relationships apart because this masculine needs to sit up here and see who are the shady ass people around him. Divine Masculine has no choice but to keep his circle small because God is sitting up here exposing these shady ass people to him daily, okay? God is showing his masculine by the day on the people that he need to let go and who don't mean his ass no good. Divine Masculine is realizing that the people that he wanted to to co-sign him on bullshit, the people that he felt the need to go out his way to prove a point, to kiss their ass, to want them around, this masculine realizing that he got to let everybody go. And if he don't break free, if he don't let go, okay, of these people, okay, it's going to be a lot of challenges in his life, okay? There's going to be a lot of challenges in his life. This masculine going to go through a lot of karma until he set up here and let go of people. God said it got to be a death to it. Got to let it go. Got to let these people go. Got to let these bitches go. Got to let the family that don't mean you no good go, okay? Because God said it's got to be an end to it. It got to be an end to it, and this masculine got to break free. That boat is sinking, and he better get off that ship, okay? Or he going down with the others. He want to try to hold on to these friendships, family relationships, and this and that. He going to go through a lot to go through it. But either way, God going to make him have to let go. This masculine going to let go Oh, let go, you know, willingly, surrender, or God say he going to create some challenges in his life to make sure he break free, okay, If even if it kills him, okay, mm-hmm, see, this masculine going to realize, okay, that the people that's been around him is being shady as a motherfucker, okay, see, this masculine going to realize, okay, 
that the people that he got to keep his circle small. He going he going to feel alone, okay? Because God going to keep removing people that don't mean his ass no good. So this masculine don't know how it feels to just love self, to walk alone. This masculine so used to people manipulating manipulating him and being shady, getting over, he just got accustomed to the bullshit. But God said it, it's time. It's time for this masculine to wake the fuck up and let go of the bullshit. It's time for him to break free of going through other challenges and going through shit because of other people. A lot of this shit, a lot of these challenges that this masculine go through is because he's guilty by association. This masculine pick up a lot of other people fucking karma, okay? And a lot of unnecessary ass shit because he want to sit up here and be loyal to the wrong motherfuckers, okay? But God said those days is over. God said those days is over. It is time. And now is it. It's time to repent. It's time to change. It's time to get on a good foot. And it's time to let go of the bullshit, okay? God said it is time and it's now okay it is now okay god is tired okay of seeing this masculine trust the wrong people be shady be around these shady ass motherfuckers that like to manipulate him and like to make him feel you know up against the wall this masculine go through a lot of unnecessary pain trauma and unnecessary shit Okay, due to the people that manipulate him and that he been around, okay? But those days is over, okay? Those days is over. As this masculine sits by himself, as he realizing these people, as he's realizing that he need to keep his um circle small, this masculine, he wants to sit up here and come and chase you. This masculine feels as though you've been the only realest person in his life, okay? For real. This karmic, she's currently feeling anxious. She feeling anxious. She hurting, okay? And she feeling unappreciated right now. Because this masculine ain't giving her ass the time of day, okay? She going through the motions right now, okay? Because every time she sit up here and watch a tarot reading or get a tarot reading, okay? She realizing that her time is almost up, okay? All her shady ass shit, magic spells, okay? And spaghetti that her ass has been making to hold on to this fucking masculine okay is almost up okay god done told her to send her warnings okay that her ass okay is next okay if she ain't already going through karma this karmic is real anxious going through a lot of different emotions right now due to the shit that she's seeing and going through currently okay this karmic is feeling anxious and she's hurting right now because she feel real intimidated by you, okay? She feel real intimidated by you, Divine Feminine. She hate the fact that you are your Divine Masculine's counterpart. And she feels as though he's going to come back towards you. She's mad. She's feeling defeated. She's upset. She's feeling a lot of different emotions. And she just feel a lot. She feels... She feels a lot of different emotions right now, okay? And she's mad, and she wants somebody to take it out on, okay? And she's intimidated and mad concerning you, Divine Feminine, okay? She really hurting as well, okay? And this masculine, too. Because everything that they asked went out they fucking way to gossip and say and do towards you. The truth is coming out, okay? And the truth is coming out and God is exposing everything that really is true about this car, this couple. This karmic and this masculine, okay? They both feeling it, okay? Wishing that they didn't lie on you. Wishing that they would have just shut the fuck up and went on about their fucking way, okay? But God, okay, is putting um putting his foot on their neck, okay? Because all the shit that this karmic said, she was very disrespectful. She did the most. And she took it 
she took it to a motherfucking 10, okay? Because she was so intimidated by you. She went out her fucking way to spread these fucking lies, okay? She did, okay? And then had the nerve to feel anxious when you ignored the bullshit, when you didn't entertain the bullshit. She was pissed, feeling anxious, okay? And really feeling anxious now because she going through a lot, okay? She going through a lot. This is the same ass bitch, okay, that went out her way, okay, to manipulate your masculine. This bitch... She sat up here and acted like she was the masculine's friend. She played the oldest oldest trick in the book and your masculine fell for it, okay? She was one of those type of bitches that act like, oh, you and your girlfriend going through stuff and trying to be his friend. But all along, she started flirting with him, baiting him up, okay? And um, they had a casual friendship and then... They start flirting and shit, okay? And um, shit went... Lines got crossed that shouldn't have been fucking crossed, okay? This bitch pretended to be a friend, okay? She sat up here and manipulated him in that type of way. Well, I would never do those things. I would have pre... I mean, she was the nicest bitch that you would ever fucking meet. You would think that this bitch sit at home every day making motherfucking apple pies and sweet potato pies, okay? House nice she was and how helpful she was to your motherfucking masculine but this bitch she was she was underhandedly just working on shit okay bitch was no motherfucking friend this bitch knew exactly what the fuck her ass was doing okay and she wanted to take your place this masculine said he feels as though this karmic forced him into a relationship he said he was just friends with the bitch and next thing he know he was in a full-blown motherfucking relationship with this hoe okay for real and his dumb ass fell for it. See, one thing about this journey where we have realized that we can't have no weak ass motherfucking people on our motherfucking team, okay? We can't have people around us that's easily manipulated, people that can be bought, people that's willing to do any and everything. No, we can't have those type of people around us. And sad to say, your masculine was weak. He should have seen right through this shit. How somebody force you into a motherfucking relationship? How you let the next bitch get to flirting with you that posing to be a motherfucking friend, okay? Come on now. That's just like, now put the shoe on the other foot. Now, if you was to sit up here and have a guy friend that was pretending to be a friend, okay? And then he start flirting, okay? And you and your masculine going through things or together or whatever, however this snake creeped in, okay? How you in a full-blown relationship with the next bitch that's supposed to be your friend and you went for the okey-doke with a flirt, a wink or two, okay? Don't nobody want no man that's easily in like that mm -mm. no I want a man to be like hell nah I got a woman mm -mm. I'm in love let me call my wife right now you know what I'm saying uh-uh I mean, you got to have a strong man okay you gonna be out here being weak sauce to these motherfucking bitches okay on old tricks in the book okay tricks is for kids okay but he fell for it okay let me move on yeah, so, but the shit ain't working right now, okay? That this karmic is real depressed. She really in her feelings, and she feeling real anxious, okay? Because that spell work is wearing off. Everybody exposing the bitch on her lives, deception, okay? And how far she'll go to win, okay? And she mad that everything being fucking exposed by her fucking ass, okay? She hate to sit up here and go to tarot, okay? Each and every day, okay? To sit up here and see everything coming out that her ass did in the past, currently okay and what she planning to do in the future okay she feels some type of way about it okay she do she also sitting up here worried about some shit that she said to one of these bitches that were finna tell it all it's some bitch that her ass was gossiping 
talking, lying, okay, working with, and this bitch is finna expose her ass, okay, in a motherfucking real fucking way. This bitch is about to tell it all. She about to tell how this bitch was intimidated by by you. She about to sit up here and tell how this bitch sat up here was disrespectful. Everything that this bitch had to say, she finna put the puzzle pieces together. It's somebody close in her camp that's about to spill all the fucking beans, okay? Hot tamale got the tea, okay? The bitch that she was running with, okay it looked like some drama done went down with them to whoever this karmic friend is don't give a fuck okay she like she ain't going down for the shit okay she ain't going down for nobody else's karma okay and um this is why this bitch is sitting up here feeling super anxious okay she feeling anxious and she feeling by herself because people is calling her ass out on this shit and she don't know if this one bitch okay or two is about to spill the beans on the shit that her ass been out here sitting up here doing every day she go to tarot she watch tarot 24 7 7 days a week by the minute okay and she ain't liking what she hearing in tarot land okay she really not okay eyes all black up all night and just sitting up here glued to that motherfucking phone that bitch is watching everything okay she wanna know what's going on and she feel un she um let's say she unappreciated she feel unappreciated and she mad that we exposing it she feel anxious and she got the nerve to be mad that we is sitting up here telling the truth okay spreading the news okay she is and she's very disrespectful i mean she's very um depressed right now and she's sitting up here hurting because this masculine ready to leave her ass feel forced in a relationship okay and this bitch know that this masculine want to come back towards you she know that this masculine feels as though he made a mistake she know it she see him every day she sit around him she's breeding his energy and she see that his ass regret being with her she know it and she know if this masculine could leave today and come back to apologize to you he would okay and she know that this masculine really wants your forgiveness she know that this masculine feel horrible about how he sat up here and did you okay and this bitch got the nerve to be sitting up here upset pissed the fuck off okay because this masculine don't want her ass no more okay they both feeling a lot of different emotions over there in that household okay really is okay really is okay and this man's gonna say he know without a shadow of a doubt that he feel forced into this relationship okay he said he feel forced into the relationship and he even though he was over there with that fucking karmic he felt lost he felt sad. He felt lonely, okay? And he realized all, and everything is coming, Every the light bulb is coming on to this masculine. He realizing that this bitch is really intimidated by you. This karmic never gave a fuck about this masculine. She gave a fuck about trying to get a reaction out of you, okay? That's what she wanted. She wanted you to feel some type of way that she was with this masculine, okay? And he realizing that shit. Because even though he was over there with this karmic, they didn't click. They didn't get along, okay? After they would have sex and fuck, okay? What else was it to do, okay? And that's really what was going on with them, okay? Now her ass is feeling depressed, upset, okay? That this masculine is ready to sit up here and... He cutting people off left and right and she's seeing it and she knowing that she next on the chopping block if it ain't already done went down okay but she knows she next in line to get cut the fuck off okay because he cutting people out his life well he well god is removing people see your masculine he, if god would leave it up to your masculine it would take forever god has had to step into Get to cutting people out of his life. And this karmic, no, it ain't nothing that her ass can fucking do. She can't box with God. 
she cannot box with God. God say, poof, be gone, you will be gone, okay? And she feeling anxious about it, knowing that she up next, okay? Mm-hmm. See, Divine Feminine, you got somebody that's about to come in and court you. Let me get some water. They don't want me to get this up. Whew. Hold on, y'all. Let me open this big-ass water. But you will not stop me from telling the truth. You will not. <laughs> you will not. Okay, but yeah, divine family, you finna have somebody come in and court you. You ain't got no worries, okay? Somebody finna come in and court you that's gonna be obsessed with you, okay? In a good way, though, okay? You wanted God to sit up here and send you somebody that was going to only be into you, okay? And Nunu is coming on through, okay? You keep believing, keep on praying, keep on being patient, okay? This is going to come out the blue when you least suspecting it. That's how love works, okay, when God's in control. It always happens out the blue. Let me move this down. Come on. Okay, mm-hmm, you are already at peace, and God finna bring somebody that's gonna be able to help you and be good for you, okay? This person, okay, is coming into your life with good intentions, okay? God is personally sending this person towards you, okay? Just like that, okay? What you've been praying and manifesting, what you deserve, okay? The greatest love, okay? That Sierra and Russell Wilson, William Wilson, okay? You see how Future did her ass play games, wanted to be out here for the streets, okay? With his street meat, just winking, just in everybody's fucking face. And you see how she prayed. Listen to that song, okay? She actually prayed and asked God to remove all the toxic shit. And look what God did. Boom. Okay. And the same thing finna happen for you, me, us, we. Okay. Hmm. Best believe. Okay. Surely, surely is. Okay. Yes. See, Divine Feminine, you real picky. Okay. Your standards is up. You ain't playing no games and you ain't got to be afraid if this person that's coming into your life is coming with right or wrong intention. God says definitely coming in with right intentions because you where you supposed to be. Can't nobody get nothing over on you. Can't nobody manipulate you. You can read energy, very gifted, okay, and got a direct connection, direct line to God, okay? This is a great thing that's coming into your life. So don't let the devil sit up here and make you be afraid to have your heart open, okay, to receiving this blessing, okay? God said you going to sit up here and know that it was heavenly sent. God said you going to know that this is your new beginning. God going to make sure that you know who's who and who God is sending in towards you, okay? You'll see. Okay, there's going to be a peaceful man, good intention. This is your new beginning, and you deserve it. You deserve to be loved properly. You deserve to have someone that's only into you. You deserve to have somebody that want to be with you, that's not on the bullshit, okay? That's ready to get busy out here in purpose. This person is coming into your life, okay? That God is going to put on your path for purpose, okay? You ain't got nothing to worry about. Peaceful love, okay? Proper dates, okay? Gonna court you the right way, okay? And this person keep his circle small, just like you, okay? Y'all circle gonna be real small. It's gonna be just you and him against the world, okay? And you will see that. All that fuckboy-ass bullshit, no more, okay? You ain't got nothing to worry about because... You know exactly what you're looking for and what you're not, okay? And what you're not. And what you're not. This masculine, he ready to walk away from this karma, okay? This masculine ready to walk away from this crazy ass, fake ass bitch, okay? He tired of dealing with this bitch. He tired of this bitch trying to walk around, act like her ass is a Barbie, okay? When her ass is not. 
Okay. This bitch is ugly inside. You remember on Color Purple when you say, you sure is ugly. Okay. Yeah, this bitch sure is ugly inside. Okay. She might be ugly outside too. Who's to know? But what I can do know is that this bitch do all she do. She might be pretty because that Barbie is, is, is cool. You would never think that Barbie out here doing shit. But Barbie out here doing a whole motherfucking lot. And he want to walk away from this fake ass plastic ass bitch. Okay. That got no motherfucking swag to her ass. This bitch is blah. Okay, she just, she just won't be authentic just to let her own self shine. She's so busy wanting to run with the Jones. She's so busy wanting to be like everybody else and plastic the fuck out and shit. She, you know what I'm saying? That um, he don't want to be with her ass. He don't want to be with her ass. This masculine say he see her ass as a narcissist. Okay, her ass is sitting up here killing him by the day. He feels like. This masculine feels as though he didn't age. He not the same. This bitch is always mad, always some drama, and this masculine just don't feel like himself. He feels soulless being around this karmic. He just not fucking happy. And God continues to tell him to break free from this karmic, okay? God is opening this masculine's eyes up, okay? So he can see, okay, how this karmic is. God is going to give this masculine the strength to tell this bitch that he is walking away or just going to do it, okay? But it looks like God letting him see and letting him sit up here and open his mouth. His throat chakra has been cut off so long that he don't know how to tell motherfuckers to fuck the fuck off. He too scared about what people think about him and who ain't going to like him and who ain't going to want to be around him. Okay, that he don't be one to, um, you know, he don't be one to push the envelope. But God making sure this masculine can't, he can't deny what he see and what he hear and what he got to say. God making sure that this masculine has no other choice but to walk away from anybody karmic. Okay, relationship, family, friends. Okay, whoever, okay? Yeah. God want this masculine to sit up here and tell this karmic how fake her ass is, okay? And he might have already told this bitch how fucking fake her ass is. He probably finally spoke up and said his fucking piece. Looked like he did and this bitch start fucking crying. She hurt because he stood up for himself, okay? Told this bitch that she was fake okay fake as fuck okay for real mm-hmm fake as fuck yep this masculine said that he was blinded he was blinded okay by his ex okay or your ex is trying to blindsight you with lies deception and his ass is a motherfucking hoe okay how's somebody gonna try to lie and speak up on you being a hoe Okay, when this motherfucker out here for the streets, look like somebody tried to blindsight you with some shit that they thought you wasn't going to see. Your ex, okay? Out here running their mouth, lying on you, okay? And they ass is the main motherfucking hoes. It's shame on people. That's the only thing I don't understand about people. You got an issue with a person. Even in the Bible, it says you, have, you go talk to that person. You have an alt with that person, Okay. You don't walk around here sitting up here doing dirtbag ass shit, speaking on motherfuckers, blindsiding motherfuckers instead of putting a name on it. You got to issue a motherfucker, put a name on it. Somebody said this, said that, speak on that shit, okay? But this masculine look like it's a masculine that is one of your exes, okay? They tried to blindsight you with some unnecessary ass bullshit when this motherfucker is the hoe. How a whole kick ass motherfucker got the nerve? I just don't understand by people. What happened to people? Like my grandma used to tell me, okay? She said, mind your business. She said, mind your business that pays me. She said, I mind my business that pay me, okay? That's what people need to do. Mind their business that pay them, okay? How a hoe gonna sit up here and try to sit up here and point fingers and say you a hoe, okay? And the motherfuckers doing this shit on the hush, okay? That's the cold part. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Divine Feminine, this is why you closed off. 
you closed off to the bullshit, okay? And you ain't said shit. You closed off to the bullshit, okay? You ain't said shit and ain't got to say shit, okay? Why should you entertain some unnecessary ass bullshit that motherfucker won't even put a name on it about, okay? Mm -mm. Who does that? Okay, you see everything. You got to change your vision and perception to all this shit. You see the beauty in all of it, okay? Because it showed you how to be stronger, tougher. It showed you how not to be in your feelings, not to entertain unnecessary ass shit. Because it was a time, Divine Family, when you would tick, tick, boom, okay? And you would go sit up here and make a motherfucker respect you, okay? But God told you, you ain't got to sit up here and say shit, okay? Mm -mm. You see the beauty in all of it, okay? All, everything that you have went through in life, you wouldn't be who you are today if you didn't go through these things. God has made you sharper. God has sat up here and shown you how to trust your intuition. God has sat up here and let you sit up here and see the truth within people to be able to read energy. God has done that for you, okay? So thank God for all these haters that showed themselves. Okay, all these Judas motherfuckers that was jealous, that like to sit at your table, that God had to get rid of. Thank God that you see the truth, okay? And you ain't got to sit up here and entertain the bullshit. What, what for? What, what for? Why you got to entertain these motherfucking demons when you a fucking angel? You know who you are, okay? You ain't trying to convince nobody who the fuck you is. God done told you and you know. That's all that matters. Trust your intuition. See everything with a new perspective and keep moving forward, okay? You ain't got to entertain this shit. God got you, okay? And it also looks like your grandmother got you as well, okay? Mm -hmm. God said continue to tap into your intuition, okay? And see, your you get your gifts from your grandmother, okay? Your grandmother, okay, was the shit, okay? Your grandmother's very respected in the ethers, okay? And she watching over her grandbaby, okay? And she's sitting up here to activating, okay? Going to God, letting God know that you're ready for certain things, okay? And, um... You got a lot more gifts that's going to activate, especially in this Lion's Gate, okay? Your grandmother is finna sit up here and show out, okay? And she got your back, okay? She is showing you to trust your intuition, showing you how magical, how, how gifted you are, okay? Your grandmother is a beautiful soul, beautiful woman, inside out. And you should be honored to have a grandmother like this, okay? And she's watching over you. And she got your back, okay? Mm-hmm. She got your back, okay? She do. So change your vision. Know who you are, okay? You are chosen. You are gifted. You are her, okay? And God got you, okay? You see the beauty in all. You see the beauty in all of it, Divine Family. And praise God for God, okay? For real. Continue to sit up here and keep taking your spiritual baths, okay? And continue keeping it moving, okay? Because God finna activate some gifts within you, okay? Mm-hmm. Yes, okay? Get ready. This Lion's Gate is wonderful, okay? Today is the 7th. We got one more day to the Lion's Gate. Thank you, Lord, okay? Hmm. And watch God sit up here and activate more, okay, gifts within you. You gonna see. God wants you to know how powerful you really are, how loved you really are. It don't matter if not one person, thank you, Lord. It don't matter if one person here on earth don't love you. You are loved in the heavens. God loves you, okay? God, Jesus, your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides love you okay as your grandmother god rest her soul she got your back she wants you to know she right here she right here granny right here nana right here whatever you called your grandmother she wants you to know okay to see the beauty in all because god finna sit up here and show everybody how powerful you really are you'll see thank you lord okay mm-hmm so don't trip. That's why you ain't got time to be arguing with nobody. 
okay? Have your heart open for new love. Have your heart open for these gifts that's about to be activated within you. God got plans for you. You and your purpose, okay? You are on duty with God and God has hired you. Fuck everybody else. Let they ass talk into they ass run in a circle, okay? Tell they ass to put their finger up they ass and smell it. What does it smell like? It smell like shit, right? Okay, then shut the fuck up, okay? That's why this stupid ass bitch sitting up here feeling stupid. Because her ass went out the fucking way to be a fake ass bitch, okay? To somebody, okay? That didn't do nothing to her ass. This bitch went out her way to be disrespectful and come for you over a fucking man. They don't even want her ass. All this bitch was willing to do. Shame on this bitch. Shame on this bitch, okay? But God said, don't trip. Clear your mind. Keep your vibration up, okay? All good vibes, okay? Mm-hmm. Because God got you. God got you. You're going to be glad that you walked away from these fucking hating ass people. You're going to be glad that you was closed off to the bullshit. Keep on sitting up here taking your spiritual baths, okay? Minding your business, getting ready for new, new, and your brand new beginning, okay? That God is going to send your way. Okay, mm-hmm. Show is, okay, let y'all be out here slaying demons together, okay? Together, mm-hmm. Yes, 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 okay, feel me? Okay, you ain't got time for that bullshit, okay? You just don't, okay? Let me sit up here and see what else we can pull out this deck. Okay, oh, I didn't get this, okay? Yeah, God says, where puts you some purple on. Purple is purple awareness, okay? You get to seeing a lot of purple. God wants you to be aware. It says yellow, friendship and happiness. You get to seeing a lot of yellow. Wear a lot of yellow. God wants you to know that, um... Friendship and happiness is coming towards you. God letting you see some colors that he wants you, when you see these colors, he wants you to think about these things, okay? Orange, energy boost, okay? Wear you some orange. Get out that black, get out that white, get in some color, okay? Get you in some color, okay? I know you like to keep it safe, but God said, uh-uh. God said he's going to show you a lot of these colors. You're going to see it with them pictures and lipstick and shoes and god wants you to sit up here and remember when you see these colors okay what to be thinking about okay god wants you to sit up here and clear clear your mind okay where'd it go and listen to your inner voice okay yeah God said, be at peace. Don't ever be afraid to sit up here and shine your light. Don't ever be afraid to open your mouth up and speak on how you feel. Can't nobody tell you what you don't see, what you don't feel. You got a right to feel. You got a right to express yourself. And you got a right to say, fuck you, and I'm done. You ain't got to put up with no bullshit that nobody's sitting up and trying to bring towards you. People trying to bring bullshit to you, come up against you, it's time to cut they ass off. And then you ain't even got to say shit. Just keep it moving. You don't owe nobody no explanation but God, okay? Because people going to get real disrespectful. And this masculine is realizing he got to wake up and realize that the people around him going to get very, very disrespectful. Okay, and he finna sit up here and have a different point of view on who these people is. This masculine gonna realize that he got to break free. He got to break free from these fake ass fucking people that don't mean his ass no good. Okay. Mm-hmm. This karmic is is sucking all this masculine's motherfucking energy okay your masculine could be sick he could be on his deathbed he better get away from this bitch before his ass end up passing away he better let go okay and break free from this fucking karmic because it's gonna be the death of him if he don't okay mm -hmm. this bitch is fake she's a narcissist okay and her ass is not to be fucking trusted okay this masculine about to realize that he made the worst mistake of his life and god about to show his ass some 
okay about how this bitch is shady and how she sat up here and manipulated something to go in her favor god finna sit up here and expose thank you lord about to expose this karmic okay show is let me get this deck okay what else lord yeah the masculine friend to sit up here and ghost her or he's upset that he ghosted you what else yeah this masculine you and your masculine connect through music music is very healing put that music on listen to that music that's why i play music for you guys because i want y'all to heal we deserve to heal music heals the soul always feel better after music you might wake up feeling like shit put some music on okay get in that mirror and shake your ass to that music okay play you some oldies play you some r&b okay and make it clap with some fucking rap music if you got to but i promise you you'll be feeling better okay yeah it says white higher purpose to fulfill in life okay yes mm-hmm so wear some white too, okay? What else, Lord? Yeah, this masculine finna get the gaslight and a lot of people around him. Those two men right there, okay? Yes. Your grandmother's finna show you your your family lineage, okay? Your grandmother is all up in this region. And yes, she is. Okay, yeah. The masculine said he realized that he had a relationship. He loved you. This man said he know the difference between being in love and being in a situation. What he had with you was true love. That's unmatched. You can't duplicate that, okay? You can't duplicate real love. I don't give a fuck how many times you post shit on the internet, whatever the fuck you buy, okay? love you know love when you have it okay and this masculine is realizing and learning the difference between the two and he's realizing that the bitch that he was fucking with is fake and that he was in the situation ship and that he gave up the real deal okay he gave up the real deal for somebody that wasn't deserving what else yes gray limits boundaries you get to see in a lot of gray that means boundaries okay Neutral gray, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. I told you. Dance a little bit. Okay, listen to some music and dance. Okay, get the moving them hips. Okay, get the twerking in that mirror. Okay, mm hmm. Okay, yes, Divine Feminine, you've been in solitude, alone in peace, and your masculine about to be too, if he ain't already, okay? Yeah, you already by yourself, heal and listen to you some music, continue to heal, okay, and dance, okay? Yes, you could have did ballet, you could have danced, okay? You could love to dance. And you love your own company. It's nothing like when you get comfortable with your own company, okay? For real, because you're never alone okay mm -hmm. this masculine said that the ways reason why he got with this karmic because they trouble trauma bond okay she played like she was his friend remember okay she knew his weaknesses okay and she tricked his ass into a relationship a situation with her fake ass okay with her fake ass okay she told you mm -hmm. this bitch was sitting up here pretending okay to be his motherfucking friend all alone this bitch had a trick up his sleeve but see this is the different traps and games of the devil okay we in the last days out here okay earth ain't no joke okay you got to be you got to be stronger than a flirt you got to be stronger than motherfucking falling for some coochie or some meat okay mm-mm you got to be loyal to the one that you wake up and stand to each and every day. And that's why we are grateful that God is bringing that type of love into our lives, okay? God said we are deserving for that type of love, okay? That, that can withstand the test of time, okay? We deserve it and we're finna have it. Ooh.
Whew. Oh, praise is due to the Lord. Okay, yes. Okay, where'd it go? Mm -hmm. Good vibes, okay? Some good vibes. Okay, peace. Ooh, yes. A man that is going to be... Hey, nothing sexier than a man or a woman when it's hard to try to get between their legs, okay? That's the man I want, okay? Mm-hmm. The one that you can't touch. The one that can't be moved. You feel me? The one that can't be moved, okay? By no fucking third party that's sitting up here trying to convince a motherfucker to hang out. We don't want those weak sauce ass motherfuckers. Uh-uh. They keep their ass right over there with them street cat ass bitches, okay? But it looked like this masculine sat up here and caught this karmic, okay? In a compromising situation. What goes around comes around. That's her ass on that fucking couch with his ass walking in seeing some shit. Or his ass is about to see that shit. Okay. He sure is. Okay. Uh-huh. See, this is why your masculine act out like he do. This is why your masculine is um monogamous. Okay. Because he been played a lot. Okay. He been hurt. Okay. You guys have been hurt in different ways by different people, okay? But you chose to learn the lesson, okay? This masculine, he been hurt a lot. He don't always found out that whoever he was dealing with, fucking with, okay, was always cheating on him. And this is what made him fear a commitment. This is what made him sit up here and fear being in a long-term relationship or trusting it. It's due to the people that he trusted with his heart, okay? This is why he act like he do, okay? This is why he continues to attract these fake-ass bitches. They don't mean his ass no good. Study sitting up here trouble, trauma bonding with fake-ass people that never have no intentions on loving him, honoring him, and adoring him, okay? For real. And whoever this fake ass bitch that he been dealing with, okay, trying to make shit work with, look like he got children with her, okay? Look like he got children with her, and this is why the masculine stayed, okay? This is why the masculine made this karmic a priority, did not walk away from her, is due to children, okay? Because both of them was in whole energy, him and his ex, okay? Him and his ex was both in whole energy. They both faker than a fifty dollar snicker. They both is okay, and they messy okay. But hey, be black okay. Warning okay. Pay attention to black cars okay. Pay attention to everything black okay. Mhm. Mm I say. Stop wearing so much black and you keep seeing a lot of black. That's warnings, okay? Mm-hmm. Divine Feminine, you independent. You moving forward. Open to new opportunities, okay? Don't get your ass on no dating sites, okay? And end up sitting up here meeting up with Chucky ass, okay? Mm-mm. You ain't never that hard up that you got to sit up. No. God want people to meet the old-fashioned way. God wants you to trust that he going to have somebody cross your path. You don't got to get on no dating apps, and, okay, and fill out this and fill out that. And that's a person, um, what the word I'm looking for? Damn, it's just right there at the tip of my tongue. My reputation. Ugh. Damn, it was right there. Don't you hate that? Ugh. Representative, thank you, Lord. Yeah, when you sit up here and go on these dating apps, you meet a person representative. That ain't the real motherfucker that you meeting, okay? That ain't a motherfucker. I mean, every blue moon, that's just like when the lottery. You might end up meeting somebody in the last one, but most of the time, mm -mm. God said that's warning. Be careful, okay, on getting on dating sites. Be careful. And don't be believing the hype and the bullshit, okay? You got to trust in God and know that God going to let that person cross your path. You got to trust in God that God know how to set up here and um, make it happen, okay? You ain't got to get on no dating apps, okay? His ass could have sat up here and got on a date nap, okay? And met this fake ass bitch. Who knows, okay? But what I can tell you is that you got a brand new beginning. 
blue kickstart your journey okay oh yes okay god say he ain't forgot about you god gonna make sure that you cross paths with new love okay for real god say he got your back where to go mm -hmm. god say he know exactly what he doing god say he watching you each and every day your faith is so strong and god gonna sit up here and thank you lord okay Make sure that you cross paths with Nuna, okay? God say just continue to stay grounded, okay? Work on your stability and let God do the rest, okay? Mm-hmm. Divine Masculine wants to set up. He been wanting to meet up, but this Carmen been putting her foot, okay, up his ass, okay? She has, okay? She could have put her foot up his ass so tough that she could have hurt her motherfucking foot. Okay, they've been fighting. Okay, might be something that happened to her foot. <sighs> yes, okay. Uh huh. Yeah, this karmic, she sat up here and blocked the masculine from coming towards you. Uh huh. When this masculine wanted to come towards you, to sit up here and tell you he was sorry, she went out her way to block this masculine from doing the right thing. And he went along with it. Okay, he went along with it. Mm -hmm. This was a one night stand bitch Okay And now his ass is not interested In the bitch that he decided to go all out for And now her ass is shocked She is shocked She feels some type of way Okay That this masculine don't even want to sit up here And try And her ass over there currently acting Fucking crazy deranged And out of control Okay because this masculine don't want to sit up here and be married to her ass no more. He breadcrumbing this bitch, okay? And don't want to be over there. And she mad. She mad. Because as long as he over there with her, the money ain't coming in like he used to, okay? And she was only there for money and she feeling some type of way. That's why you got to be with a person for the right reason, Okay? It's going to be good times, bad times, and ugly times, okay? And you got to have somebody that stands by you through it all, okay? You, you going to win. It's going to be up. You know what I'm saying? You got to throw curveballs in relationships just to sit up here and see what you made of, okay? And this karmic is getting breadcrumb because this masculine ain't got it like he used to. And she being very disrespectful to this masculine. She really is. To the point that she out here, thank you, Lord, winking and blinking at other people, okay? Uh-huh. For real. You know how many people is watching this shit unfold with you and your masculine? A lot of people interested in what's going on with you and this masculine. Okay? And a lot of people is watching. Okay? If you only knew. Okay? People is watching. Okay? Yeah. And they realize that this karmic got some rooted issues. Okay? Mm-hmm. They know this karma got some rooted issues and everybody's sitting up here seeing that you're changing. Everybody's seeing that you changing, Divine Family. You got family, friends, enemies. I mean, it's some of everybody watching you, okay? And who you used to be, that ain't who you are no more. You'll never be that person again. God has his hand on your life, okay? You are reborn, okay? And you have been doing a lot of shadow work on yourself, okay? And a lot of people are seeing you turn into a butterfly. You no longer neck cocoon. Everybody's seeing you grow right before their eyes, okay? A lot of people are seeing it, okay? People are seeing it. And they're seeing how quick God is blessing you and your foundation, okay? See... You went through a temporary, okay? You went through some temporary shit, okay? It didn't mean that your life was going to stay like that. You probably fell on hard times. You had to regroup because you had to know God wanted you. You forgot. See, like God always had your back, Divine Feminine, but it looked like it was a time that you forgot to give God praises. You forgot who made things happen, and you wasn't taking the time to have God first in your life. So God temporarily set, set you on the bench in order for you to recognize who makes shit happen for you. God wanted you to sit up here and see exactly who you are, okay? And God wanted you to see that you gifted, 
and who you are, okay? It was only temporary, okay? See, people seen that temporary fog, but when you went through your hard times and shit, okay, God, you was able to see who really had your back. And all those people that you used to give a damn about and used to care about and all this and all that, you could care fucking less, okay? Because you know who you are when you look in the mirror each and every day, okay? So now... You're no longer on the bench. You done paid that karmic debt. So we can drop that, okay? Because you know who you are. And God finna bless you in a real way. Okay? God finna bless you in a real way. You about to be in love again. And you know why? Because you've been working on your inner child wound. You did a lot of work on yourself. And I'm so proud of you. You did a lot of work on yourself. And you purified and... Let God take the will. See, you divine feminine surrender. You didn't fight God. God told you people had to go. You didn't ask no questions, okay? You just continued to heal through it. You didn't ask no questions. God said this person had to go. They got to go. They said your brother got to go. He got to go. They said your sister got to go. She got to go. They said one of your bad bad children or a couple of your children, grown children got to go. You let God take the wheel and own and own and own. Friends, associates, co-workers, okay? When God said you had to purify, let them go and work on yourself, you did. You did. You did. See, your masculine. He don't know how to sit up here and come out of fantasy land. Thank you, Lord. He don't know how to sit up here and come out of his fucking pride. Okay. He all in fantasy land. The plane. The plane. Remember the fantasy land? Okay. The little short man be like the plane. I don't even know why I'm talking about that. But y'all remember? I know my tribe remember. Okay. He in the plane. Okay. Illusions. Okay. In his pride. Okay, he could be a Leo or have Leo in his tribe, but he trying to get the will. See, your masculine, he's so used to being a certain way, stuck in his fucking ways, that it's hard for him to bring himself about that shit. Okay, he care about what people got to say. He care about running with these people and having this and having that, okay? It's going to be a little harder for him than it was for you, okay, to get on the right foot. But he will learn his lesson on how to sit up here and be grateful and who God really is. Sometimes God got to reintroduce himself to us, okay? And that's what's happening, okay? Somebody else's trash is somebody else's treasure, okay? Yeah, people that try to look down on you, make you feel like shit, okay? You a lotus flower blooming right before people's fucking eyes. Okay, for real. You on a mission. It's a mission. Higher power. You're on a mission for God. God hired you. Don't worry about nothing else, okay? God said he going to bless you with a partner, okay, that's going to love you. Okay, and God said he removing, says, Ganesha, removing obstacles. God is removing all obstacles out your life, okay? Why your masculine still up in his fucking ego. He hard-headed to God. Got to put his foot on his neck, okay? And bring Divine Masculine back to the light, okay? God stepping in, okay? He got and took the wheel because this Masculine wasn't willing to surrender, okay? Mm-hmm. Yep, God want this masculine to be self-aware of other people that he choose to have in his life, okay? God want this masculine to accept God back into his life, okay? Mm-hmm. And God wants divine masculine to stop fighting it, okay? We'll say, easy does it. God want the masculine to go with the flow and accept his love, okay? God don't want to have to force nobody, but God will step in, okay? Mm-hmm. And navigate this masculine to safety, okay? And all this shit is happening unexpected to this masculine, okay? Because he under judgment, okay? He under judgment, and God has stepped in, okay? And then told this masculine, come the fuck on with the bullshit, okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm, yeah. This is happening. 
God then took a hold of this masculine's life and told him to bring his ass on if he want to or not. And this masculine going to feel as though this and that is happening to him. But it's not as happening for him because God loves him like he do. Like he loved all of us like he do. Okay? God loves you enough to tell you, come on, get on the good foot and stop the bullshit. Okay? But yeah, y'all, I'm going to leave it right there. And I will be back with another reading. Y'all make sure y'all push that like button and subscribe. And please go to the other channel and subscribe as well. Which is Irresistible Tarot 444. I love you guys. I adore you guys. I appreciate you guys. And um, just show your girl some love. Go on over there and just push the um, subscribe button and up so I can continue to keep uploading videos over there as well i'll be doing videos over there but y'all don't go over there to go see those videos okay and that's why i keep doing them over here but i want i'm gonna have to keep doing them over there and just let god do what he do but i'm just asking y'all y'all know that i love you guys and adore you guys please go over there push that like button and subscribe boop 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 okay but yeah, we're going to leave it there. I'm hungry. I want something. I want something, y'all. I want something. But I'll be back, okay? Bye.